30 percent of Britain's natural, uh, natural gas coming from copper through the Strait of Hormuz. What Britain is doing is not in its own national interest. The US military bases around the world are about securing the uh, global uh, assembly line. Now, Britain becoming a junior partner in that arrangement is not advantageous to Britain. The Ministry of Defense, the parasitical organization that it is, is always on the news in this situation, demanding more and more money. And that's what we saw. We saw this situation as an open opportunity for mercenaries masquerading as journalists to take to the screen and tell you that the Ministry of Defense and the Royal Navy needs more and more and more um, taxpayers' money. You know, and even as it is, we know that these institutions operate with absolute minimal, close to zero checks and balances. So, you know, what is the situation with John Bolton and Mike Pompeo, and how do they have the potential to drag us? Well, uh, John Bolton was published the article to stop Iran's bomb on Iran in the New York Times. Um, uh, Mike Pompeo called for airstrikes against Iran, calling for around 2,000 separate um, airstrikes. And of course, when Trump made that decision to leave uh, the nuclear agreement, it came very close just after, in fact, his appointment of Pompeo and Bolton. But where does the US public stand on this? We know that 60% of uh, US um, people in the United States have said they do not think uh, a law of strike should be launched against Iran, and only 12% said that they think it would be a good idea. Now, we run really in such a sensitive time, not just uh, because of the situation here, when we look at the uh, elections that are due to take place in Israel on September 17th, you have Netanyahu trying to uh, impose dominance um, on the region by the bombing of Syria, the bombing of Lebanon, uh, the bombing of Iraq, you know, with uh, Iran as uh, the excuse, because it's going to run very close, this election um, on September 17th. And Trump previously had said regarding Obama that possibly Obama's plan to win um, uh, the, the last election that he wanted would be to bomb Iran. So clearly this is the way that Trump thinks of this mass project projection of industrial war as potentially something to win him um, an election. So really what I wanted to say is that we are in a really important situation here and a very sensitive situation and we must apply as much pressure as possible on the leaders of power to not submit to the, the, the will of those that we have in this country thrown into another terrible, terrible situation that will cause <coughs> immense uh, pain and untold suffering for generations. This really will be a, 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 an important moment in, in our history as an anti-war movement in Britain. And we have to cut through all of the cultural ambience that is being laid by the 77th Brigade on the internet by these different parts of social media and media that is working hand in glove with the British military. We must be clear when uh, looking at a lot of the work that is being produced, as was uh, made clear by the leaks by Anonymous last year, the Integrity Initiative revealed that a huge amount of the defense correspondence for the places that we get our information from are actually in bed with the military intelligence and the MOD. The information that we are receiving about Iran is not coming from a place that is constructed to peace. And so we have to fight back and we have to be clear about what we're fighting back against. Thank you very much.